Hi, I'm Grey Hunter, and welcome to um, Strategy Command, the American Civil War. So, let's jump in with a nice 1961 campaign. Starting as the Union, with no for bonuses on either side. So, I've put now an hour into this already, so should hopefully do better than I was doing before. Made a few errors based on the fact I've only played the World War One version. For some reason, the American Civil War is not based on that. Luckily for me, or luckily I say, my audio engine messed up and I lost the entire recording, so yeah, I'm restarting it. So, pull up to the bombardment. Basically, hex based strategic game. Lots of events will be firing in the first few turns. Virginia succeeding. Maryland succeeding. Oh, actually, Baltimore's getting beaten up. Lincoln's called for some volunteers. But blockading the south. And everywhere's mud. Which is okay, because I've got no troops to attack anywhere anyway. Right, welcome Mr. President to the American Civil War. Many of the border states have not joined the war. We're coming turns to expect the succession of Arkansas, Tennessee and North Carolina. Pretty sure it's Arkansas. Kansas? Never heard of a Kansas, Arkansas. Situation in Missouri to get Tokyo less certain, even with the best investment, events and invasion. Victory in this war will depend on your ability to maintain the fighting spirit, which is up here in the top. Important to catch as much ground as possible on occasion, especially occasions marked with FS objective. Fighting spirit objective, obviously. First time playing, strategic guide, oh, I'll never listen to help anyway. Right. A list of 10,000 volunteers was placed pedestrian, unprecedented demand on an arsenal. Course massive reporting shortage of weapons in and just pre-war stockpiles are depleted. So basically, the first few turns we receive 200 um, MPPs each turn. It's always divided. We can, so this is our first choice. We can either force Missouri, all our forces in Missouri or maintain the status quo. We'll go for the status quo. So Missouri is neutral, but we're not annoyed Kansas. So the next one is um, most of our garrisons are in the rebel states. Going back to it to Fort Resenworth. Or we can hold position and try and maintain the Indian tribes. Let's order the evacuation. We're going to lose a bunch of Indian territories. I think we're just limited to Washington for... Oh no, we've got some guys up in Pittsburgh. Cincinnati. I am however going to deploy... I'll deploy one to Cincinnati and another to Pittsburgh. Or Evansville there. Just to protect my, uh, my own objectives. So... What we have here is a financial industrial century of St. Louis, which is the first 10 MPP a turn. But as we are, they are neutral, we can't do much about that. So on the first turn, we're just going to hold. See what happens with Missouri. Here yeah, it's the first turn. What do you expect me to do? Right. Let's get these ships moving south. I want them in the blockade. I've only got 200 points this turn. Do I want to get research going or diplomacy? We will immediately spend all our points in diplomacy on Missouri and Kentucky. 
Let's secure those. Right, end the turn. Right, now they now we can invade Little Rock. And Tennessee. North Carolina. Right, an armored train gets Baltimore back on track. They're still sending us grain even though they're neutral. And the Confederates have started organizing their army. And Lincoln's called for three years turn. It's a war, we're definitely over by then. Honest. Right. Right, they recognize him as a belligerent state. Because why not hurt America? Right, New Orleans is a gateway to the south. We basically send our city source, 40 point river gunboats up the river to occupy the city. Well, our coastal gunboats are capable of sailing to miss it directly. Quite more very, very, river ironclads in the southern. So basically, if I send river gunboats, then they will arrange for large ships to escort them. I right, deploy river warships in New York. Uh, Mississippi. So basically, we can attack Mississippi. Um, but we need to make sure we've got the troops to take it. Alright, so you're deploying to Boston. You can deploy anywhere. I feel like we need more troops in Washington. Okay, I have an actual points this turn. So let's get a couple of river ironclads going. We won't see them till September though. And after that, two divisions have troops. After the next turn I'll get some research going. Probably send all of my points since going on research. I won't see those divisions until like July, August anyway. Alright. Missouri is currently neutral. Not too bad. I don't really want to be advancing anywhere at this stage. My forces are far too weak. I don't even have any commanders. The exception to this is the ships. I want to be moving for south to cause some trouble. Right, Fort Monroe for 25 MP, yes. Indian Territory Garrisons arrive. Pro Union Volunteers. Well, that's a nice force. Glenn is taking part of the Department of Ohio. Which is in a good position to march south, I think. Kentucky staying neutral. Logistics is going up quite nicely, actually.
Alright. Don't know Alexandria. Okay. Looks like the Battle of Manassas is going to start. They've moved their capital to Richmond, which now means they're getting it's 500 MP a turn. It will tell us in a second. Yes, yeah, so 500 fighting spirit each turn they hold Richmond. So basically it's quite hard to drive them into the dirt until you actually destroy that. Frigate here. Banks HQ. Support them. Frigate up here. Oh, gunboat in Cincinnati. And a random brigade. Out near one. Washington. So, we have blockade runners down here. Move you as well. Those other two ships that just come in can now be assigned to the Mississippi attack force, I think. Move them off. Do that. That's a successful defense of Washington. Right, McClellan, you're not going to be sitting on your ear. Where's the closest Staunton down here? So we want to get these guys marching south. And to march our Staunton. is basically waiting for his troops to um, pick up from his eyes to figure out what it's doing. If we can get Missouri on side, that'd be amazing. Right, research. Infantry equipment. Skirmishers and scouts. So infantry equipment um, increases your combat strength. Skirmishers increases the demoralization, so basically you do more damage. Scouts increases the view of your troops. Then we want to core organization. Increases our build limit for cores. Field telegraph increases our Range. We don't have enough for anything else apart from experimental balloons. No. Fort monetization. Okay, so these will start ticking up over the turns. And they're good long term investments. So getting them in early is, feels the right thing to do. Alright, see how the Confederacy reacts. To me, smashing their frontline troops up. Spain's recognizing them. Madal takes the volunteers of Maryland. So another two brigades, three brigades, four. Very nice. We can march them down the Shenandoah Valley. See if we can find some guy called Jackson. Paid there to build up their frontline unit again. That's how much of a battle I want to make of Manassas at this stage. I'm hoping the march into West Virginia is going to draw some troops off. First Civil War parody has been written.
I only got the hard tack over like one month for fighting. Have a frigate. Move you to there. Right, we'll get a blockade of north going there. Now we can figure out causes some trouble in here. Step that out, step you in. Fail to destroy the enemy brigade. Okay, that's just not going my way, is it? There we go. Secure half a ferry. I'm running to a Confederate brigade. We will hold without attacking. Here we shall continue to march down this road. We'll take Philippi, just because it's got some points of turn. March those forces up. How is our diplomacy going? I'm going to spend big on getting Missouri in. More worried about Missouri than I am Kentucky. I want to get leadership going in here. And then... Engineers going and then over the river ironclad. Right, so we destroyed an enemy unit. Consulant Antwerp is an interesting development. We can accept Giuseppe Garibaldi. Bringing lots of volunteers for Europe and America. Rise of the immediate proclamation of emancipation of all slaves from rebel states. So we're going to go no on this one because I think that will tr trigger Missouri and Kentucky to um, join. I'd like to go full. Right. And in the next case, the president of the Dominican Republic. I'd like to get a full proclamation run at some point, but <coughs> not quite yet. Still learning the game, trying not to make it too hard for myself. Missouri has joined us because the Confederates just declared war on them. Grant can move up to save them. Looks like we can continue our battle at Bolvac. Again, who crossed the river is going to be the key thing here. Marching on Frink Springfield, I probably should do something to stop that. I feel like I wasted all those points on them. The Missouri thing. OK. 
Okay. Border Kentucky with great importance. We should put troops, basically saying put troops along the Raya River. Don't declare war on its own power. Build armored trains. Oh. Enemy contact. Land train is not going to do as much good. Let's continue pressure on this force near Winchester. Reinforce you to max. Reinforce you to max. And um, you moved, so I can't. Right, let's continue to march on Stranton. Lewisburg will be the next target. Alright, they've invaded Missouri. Go, go, General Grant. Someone in Germany there. To bring you up to full speed. That city is already going a lot better than my last run. We are like in control. It's amazing what playing the game for an hour does. We're moving down here, we're going to try and blockade this here. You're also coming down to help. Next time I get to deploy troops, how far is it to... The river gunboats come out in September with a little bunch of troops, some in New York, so... As long as I build up enough for a force in New York, it should be fine. divisions. Early game I feel like it's very important to, I've got my main research running, it's very important just to get that nice bit of research got, uh, drips out. Running brigades at the moment, I'd like to step up. Uh, Mets can't pay in their debts. The Indians are joining the Confederacy. Hopefully that's costing them money to um, repair every turn. And advancing into Missouri. At least do something silly like that in um, Kentucky as well. Alright, we're going to need to think about going on the defensive. Holding the line nicely outside Washington. Could lose a brigade here. Definitely need to push the support. These guys should be able to slow whatever's marching up from Wilson's Creek. California started recruiting. That we lost more guys there. Okay, in Norfolk.
Alright, so California, Oregon, the Western Territories stand ready to support the war effort. In the great distance and limiting infrastructure, the rebels will have no ability to attack these locations directly. So basically, yeah, as long as I keep Colorado Territory open, I'll get loads of extra stuff. Which I'd have to screw up quite badly to have that happen, so. Next turn, do you think? Right, Arizona. So, alright. March to protect the cities. I don't feel the immediate need to panic. So can keep moving on up. Jefferson City is protected. Pop you in there just in case. Don't want to leave any uh, fighting spirit to cheeky attacks. Talking of cheeky attacks. Moving across this is apparently a bit of a nightmare. Oh, here we go, we've run into the enemy. I've seen McLarenton sort something out here. Now we need to deal with this mess up here. That's Harper's Ferry. Oh, this thing was very powerful last time. Take that any day of the week. Yeah, okay, that's going very well. If banks for a little bit, you can get the better command of those guys. My ships are ready to move. So an undo move, because that's not what I was trying to do. I'd like to boost my research a bit more. Tactics, cavalry tactics. I'm going to spend big on infantry equipment. Oh well, I had other matching technology. Like to maintain that though. Let's get some siege artillery going. Because that'll take a while to produce. Yeah, September, October is going to be amazing for me. Yeah, what's my child doing? It's not really later than I record. He's actually awake, I think. So if this video ends suddenly, yeah, because he's in the room. Oh, attrition losses. Zills recognize the Confederacy. When the port modernization takes a good chunk forward. Right, so they're putting back. Ooh, that's a solid dish on those calves. Kind of 
the Confederates can't afford to be taking these losses. They're blocking the climb, but that means they've got anyone near an actual objective. I feel like I should be doing something near Arizona. Say up marching troops up. Assar just joined us. The blockade continues. Invasion in New Mexico has begun. The Axelad board has been formed. This is already playing out quite differently than my last game. Okay. Do we get some troops into Arizona? Are roughly. Not a good idea to actually attack them, but not force marching. It's not that desperate. Hey, okay. what's my supply doing in this area? I'm kind of running on the edge of it here. Eh, it's going to draw troops off from the main line. Crossing the, the mountains in mud and rain is slow going. Got it hit. Alright. We don't get to attack them unfortunately. Let's just bring these guys back up to full strength. End of the day, I've got the points and the Confederates down. They're probably eating lots of events that will give them bonuses. This turn. Let's just see what that does. Still trying to figure a few things out. Kentucky, 70%, looking good. Let's spend on some ironclads. And some production technology. Probably spend big on production technology actually. That reduces the cost of it, uh, reinforcing virtue by 5%. That'll be a big boost over time. A bit more divisions into the pile. 11% mobilization. Access to the Mexican troops or just as an ally.
This looks like it's an ally. Still waiting on my gunboats before I can do anything fun down south. Cycle the turn, see what we get. Surprise, surprise, the guy's marching through the mountains, I suppose. A new fort. Sounds like a good plan. That's in Baltimore. Creek has joined them. Oh, sorry. Cherokee reforming troops. Oh, West Virginia. Okay, Norfolk. So far, so good. Oh, they're behind me. Have to march back on that. These guys need to reinforce desperately. Oh no, gunboats. Well, oh, that's a lot of gunboats. May have to send some troops back. Like at least we're holding. Okay, Norfolk. We lost Philippe. We took Fort Gibson. Okay, so this is wanting to build a fort at Hatteras for fifty. Banks, so that will help us slow down their supplies. All right, two divisions. These are for the invasion of Mississippi. We'll put another general in here. You desperately need to reinforce. We also reinforce. Right, no, attacking there Did not help me at all. Alan needs to catch up with his boys. They are currently at the end of their supply line. Grant's getting a battle down here. Is it three months apparently? Attack or stay on the defensive. Keep doing misclicks. You can absorb these losses are much better than they can.
But we got some guys down here. We've run into a full cavalry div in this area. Got some frigates down here. Okay, at least one unit, two axes of location to put European mobilization. Yeah. Up here. You're gonna get mob rush frigates. Hey. Don't think I need the bonus, but I'll take it. Keep the supplies open for General Butler. A frigate I could have moved ages ago. Kentucky getting this wall. Just keep the troops flowing. This march was probably apparently not very well conceived. Took you past the wall. Mm. Yes, yeah, this is what I was talking about being mobbed by frigates. We might have to blow both of these out of the water next turn. And retreating in front of my amazing forces. The Mexicans are... Although well, there's one of the Indian tribes in it. But we held the line. You need reinforcements. Right, the battle here is going pretty well. That unit's in a bit of trouble because he's being attacked on five sides. Oh, except that two of them had to reinforce this turn. Oh god, those guys are completely cut off in the Appalachians. Need more troops. Need some guys I can get down in Pittsburgh. Jockey joins the Union. Uh, they've ran the new Orleans blockade. Eastern Shore of Vicky near the mine. Bushwhackers. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. Hey, come on. Stop that. That was rude, wasn't it? Right. Oh, you're in New York, okay, you're gonna go down there. Is in the field. Right, so that's actually not bad for me. Of course, you can't do any deal damage to these guys.
At least this means we've secured the north part of the Mississippi. Kentucky is mine, so let's march these troops in to secure it. Okay, that is actually viable. I'll put a gear back. Here, we need to see about protecting Cumberland. Oh, that's a good hit. Give more of those, please. Because I can't move that guy off Washington without risking them marching in. Phoebe's transport these two. Over frigate heading south. Then we got a little battle over here. Which you, I think you can deal with yourself. Let's keep the. Uh... No. Ah. Need to stop that. Huge amounts of stuff. Another point of siege artillery. Got a cavalry division. Our oh, trains are cool. They're limited, but they're quite strong. I might get my first point of logistics there. Most people living in Indian territory, the creek could sleep be split. The majority is side of rebellion and several thousand remain loyal. Where should they assemble? North Kansas. In stay in Egypt place any pro rebel leaders. Let's try and bring the creeks to the Union. However, the volunteers arrive. Exactly what I need there. Mississippi is hit by rough seas. Now, didn't even know this was a thing. Logistics level three. that we can ship guns to the front more easily. Oh, a little bit to Maryland. Frank will be able to start marching, but he's got loads of forts to deal with. At least we can get Black to blockading and taking out those guys at the same time. Yo, 
holding relatively well. Need to replace our losses. Light skirmishing there. Oh, I completely forgot about those guys. Sorry, guys. So, oh, you survived. That's a brave choice. The yeah, eye boys like I do randomly charging into objectives. Yeah, they got a lot of troops marching, Kentucky, I'm gonna have to move Grant in there. Oh, hopefully I'll get a load of new troops in. Oh. There she bandits. Blow up half Kentucky, it's fine. Okay, Ironclad's production for the Union. Hey, River Ironclad's. Get them ready in New York. Cavalry to support. Let's just boost you back up to full. Right, Fremont. But we can't do much fighting. You might be able to destroy these guys if we get lucky. <sighs> Narrator, he did not get lucky. Lock the road. You guys are going to have to move. Fort Baxter. You can move up. At least we've secured Fort Baxter. Let's not forget the guys down here this time. I could force march them up. Should be okay just to march normally. Especially if I can rebuild this guy. Yep, at least buys me another turn. Attacking that fort was a bad idea. Up here. It's their readiness. Pretty low. Oh, still good enough though. That 
that works out there, can't I? There goes what he's saying, can't I? Ah, uh, no, stop it. You used to right click move. <laughs> That's me up. Right. They can't move this turn. You can start the long march down to the front. Another freak it somewhere, didn't I? There we go. Okay, I'll go cycle one more turn, that'll do me. I've just spent my points, obviously. So it's going to be boring as any all on divisions. Yeah, I get it. Might be able to reconnect with McClellan. Tech went off a little bit. Oh, close to going up. the line there basically and be building those guys it's a lot of native americans maybe my cavalry can help those guys definitely need those troops in Kentucky should be able to hold out for another turn especially with that helping Haven't accidentally given them Washington, which is a good thing. Got a shortage. Take the longest to use those ports. We're getting more troops in Arizona. Alright. Last thing I need to see is them. The Alice Brigade, I lost several towns. Brigade of 30% mobilization. Attack of Port Royal Sound. 450 MPs, yeah. Excellent. That'll help with that. We've got some engineers to deploy. Some more gunboats. Train. Okay, and that's a good place to end the video. A slight hit on my national support. They're looking strong at 104%. But we should start being able to hurt them soon. So, hope you enjoyed this. Leave me a like if you have. And I will see you next time.